But despite this illustration, there's one far better that I'll come to at the end of the sermon. But I want to make a note here about depression, uh, a bit of a side note, as far as causes go. Here in the psalm, we don't, we don't know what caused his darkness. We, we're not told really any details. We don't have Psalm 87 that tells us the story, and then we get this one. We just get this without context. So we have to be careful with assuming what's going on in his life. But in other instances, we do know what causes depression. Uh, David in Psalm 32 experienced groaning and moaning upon his bed, tears, because of his sin, because he was unrepentant towards God. So we know that's, that's why he experienced his depression. Job, well, we know why he experienced his depression. Uh, Satan was incited against him, and he lost his friends, his family, his possessions, his relationship with the Lord seemingly for a time. So we know what caused his depression. It was circumstances, very real and painful circumstances. And of course, there can be biological causes as well. Not to touch on that here. But one thing that's very important to remember, and we have, that can use, this can be used against people who suffer with depression, it certainly was for me, is linking depression with something we do necessarily. Saying, it's your fault you're depressed. Uh, we could say to the psalmist, well, he's doing something wrong. That's what Job's friends did to him. That's what's wrong with you, Job. You've done something wrong. You need to repent, and God will restore all that he took from you. But we know that's not true from the story of Job. So while it may be true that if we feel distant from God and depressed, that we have done something like David did in Psalm 32, that's not always the case. It's a cliche uh, that, you, as someone may be asked, well, if you feel God is distant from you, well, who moved? Well, you must have moved because God doesn't move because God doesn't change. Well, generally that might be true. That's simplistic. Here, again, we don't know what caused this distance between God and him. And with Job, we know for a fact that his distance was not caused by something he did. So God has a more complex working than we can possibly understand, and we have to avoid simplistic answers. If Anything, this psalm teaches us that very powerfully, that we have to avoid simplistic answers. 